Hello again. Espresso Cyborg here, and today we will be continuing our quest to rebuild a grinder. This is the third part of our series on rebuilding a super jolly grinder. In this part, we will be replacing the bearings on the motor. This will take a few hours to complete, so please make sure you have all the tools and parts before you begin. Okay, let us sip some espresso. Here are the tools that will be needed for replacing the bearings on the grinder. Unplug the grinder. Remove the bean hopper and the grounds hopper lid. Vacuum out the remaining beans and grounds in the grinder. Unscrew the adjustment collar. Remove the upper burr holder and the three springs in the grinder housing. Vacuum out the chamber. Then using a pick, clean the heads on the screws and the chamber threads. Remove the 13 mm nut in the middle of the lower burr holder. Remove the two top screws holding the grounds chamber and loosen the two bottom screws to remove the hopper assembly. Flip the grinder over and remove the two back screws and loosen the middle screw on the bottom. Remove the bottom of the grinder. Note the switch and the wires for the switch. Map out wires or take a picture. Disconnect and remove the switch and the ground wire. Note the position of the ground wire. Disconnect the capacitor. You can unscrew and remove it, but you can also leave it on the motor base. Remove the screws around the motor base. Put a bar towel or two in the grinder bottom and flip it over. Screw in your M835 or 40 mm nut and using your dowel or wooden tamp and rubber mallet. Tap out the middle nut to remove the shaft from the burr holder and the bearing. Another way is to use a flat screwdriver to remove the burr holder, if you are careful enough, that you cause no damage to the bottom of the burr holder. Either way works. For me, it is easier to use the screwdriver to lift out the upper burr holder. Since we are replacing the burrs, now it's the time to clean and replace the burrs on upper and lower burr holder. You can also refer to my previous video on replacing the burrs. With the burr holder removed, place the O-ring in a safe location and pay attention to the key on the shaft. This will be necessary when we are reassembling the grinder. Flip the grinder over. The motor base should have fallen onto the towel safely. Remove the rotor and the base. There are some wires that you will have to slide through the hole on the base. To remove the bottom bearing from the base, use the M8 nut and screw it into the middle of the base. There might be a small plastic cap covering the screw hole. Using the bearing puller, remove the lower bearing from the rotor. Then set the rotor on a towel. Flip grinder over and clean the three screw heads. Then remove screws and cover to get access to the upper bearing. Flip the grinder over and using the extension bar, set it on the bearing and use the rubber mallet to remove bearing. Flip grinder over and clean out the bearing housing. Then set in the new bearing and using wooden tamper and rubber mallet set it in place. Next set motor base on a flat surface and using same method set in the lower bearing. Set the rotor on the lower base and bearing. Then grab the base and set it in grinder, routing the wires to the correct location. Remember the position of the ground screw. Using the tamper or dowel tap down on base until it is close enough to start the screws around the edge of the base. With the screws started, we can now tap the base a few more times to set close to bottom position. Then screw in the edge screws until the base touches the grinder sides. Flip the grinder over. If the upper bearing is not seated, flush in the housing use the 5.8 long socket and the tamper to set it in place. Then add in cover and screws. Flip the grinder over and set the switch, capacitor and wires back in position. Flip the grinder over. Place the O-ring on the shaft and slide on the lower burr holder. Match the position of the key on the shaft. Use the tamper to get it in position, then screw on the middle nut. Double check your wires and plug in the grinder, then turn on to perform a test. If we are as good as we know we are, everything will be smooth, so we can continue to sip espresso, with our pinky extended, of course. Screw the bottom back onto the grinder, then flip it to finish the burr chamber. Screw the bottom back onto the grinder, then flip it to finish the burr chamber. Place the three springs back in place and set the upper burr holder onto the housing. Clean the threads on the adjustment collar using a pick and a towel. Add a small amount of grease to the threads and using a small piece of a paper towel, spread the grease around the threads. Place the collar on the grinder and pushing down on the upper burr holder. With the other hand, slowly turn on the adjustment collar. You might have to turn backwards a few times to get the collar threads to line up. Turn the collar until burrs touch each other, then back about an eighth turn or three notches. Check the outer edge side of the collar for the notches. Place the grounds hopper on the grinder. Replace the dozer gasket if needed. Start the screws on the bottom. 
Once they are started, screw in the top screws and then finish tightening the bottom screws. Then pick a spot on the collar, any spot or number on the top, and count out 12 notches on the outer edge. Turn that spot to where you started. Example, if you pick the number 8 and counted out 12 notches, it should put you at about 3 notches past the number 9. Turn from that spot to where the number 8 started. Your grind should be almost perfect for testing. Thank you for watching.